Whether you are an experienced drone flyer or a complete beginner, there is absolutely no shame in using the built-in technology to a DJI drone, such as Quick Shots, to capture some absolutely epic footage. Quick Shots are an absolutely fantastic way to get some brilliant consistent shots every single time without having to worry about flying the drone yourself. Now I've made quite a few videos on this topic specifically where you can utilise Quick Shots in a really creative way to capture some really epic cinematic footage. Now if you are new around here and you've not yet seen that video, I will leave a link to that one right here uh, where you can go and check out and see exactly what I mean. Now whilst quick shots are an absolutely fantastic tool, one thing drone flyers have to look out for is of course making sure they are always abide by the local laws and regulations. And it has to be said that most times worldwide, the maximum upper ceiling you can actually fly at is around 120 meters or 400 feet depending on the measurement system you are using. And that poses the question, doesn't it? And I have seen this asked quite a few times on social media just recently. If you, for example, were flying a drone, such as this DJI Mini 2, an old channel favourite, and still the drone many of you use to this day, if you was flying this around 100 metres and tried to execute a quick shot, for example, uh, a rocket with a upper ceiling of around 50 metres, what would happen? Would the drone actually continue that 50 metres up, meaning you are potentially breaking the local laws and regulations or would the built-in safety feature within the DJI Fly app where you set your upper limits actually take precedent before it goes above that 120 meter limit. Well that's exactly what I'm going to demonstrate on this video so without further ado let's run the footage using the DJI Mini 2 and let's see exactly what happens. Now before we take off, the first thing we're going to make sure is that we have got enough satellites locked in to ensure an accurate GPS location. Basically the drone uses GPS satellites to position itself and of course if you do ever find yourself in a return to home situation, of which I again I've demonstrated on this channel and I will leave a link at the end so you can go check out that one, it uses its GPS positioning to make its way all the way back to yourself. However if you do not have enough satellites locked in and you attempt to fly off, you're going to find your drone behaving very, very odd. It may potentially just completely fly away, not expecting it to be in attitude mode. So this is always vitally important. In short, if you see the home point as being updated message and the satellite indicator in the top right corner switches to white, you have got enough satellites and it is safe to take off. So let's go and demonstrate this one then. So naturally, first of all, it doesn't really matter where you are flying. Obviously, this is just a nice convenient location to be able to film my video here. So while we are on our way up, I'm just going to pop into the DJI Fly app menu and we're going to be interested in the safety tab. Now on the safety tab, you can see three parameters with sliders with which we can set to our preference. We have got the auto return to home height. We have got the maximum distance. We are going to be able to fly before the drone limits us. But of course, because we are testing the altitude, this is the important one. So as you can see, I have got the maximum altitude set at 120 meters and in theory, the DJI drone should not allow itself to go beyond this limit. But of course, when we are executing in a quick shot, if we are flying below that and try to fly above it, the drone may of course may attempt to. So let's just see exactly what may happen. And now to test this properly, of course, we need to choose a quick shot where the drone has to rise in altitude. It's no good selecting a circle because of course, the drone will just do a massive circle at the 100 meters. We need to select one where it will potentially go upwards um, or ascend and of course our main two options are the ones right at the top which is droney and of course rocket now for the purpose of this what i'm going to do is just select a droney and um, because it's basically one of my favorite uh quick shots and i just think it does an absolutely fantastic job at getting some really cool footage now of course there's nothing really of interest to select around here so i'm just going to select this random house by drawing on the screen and selecting that as a quick shot now the way that it will work is the drone will try to execute this quick Quick shot keeping our selected target in the center of the frame at all times so all we're going to do is select a distance and we'll just choose the maximum distance we can fly away now the way a joiner works of course it flies backwards and upwards at the same time selecting this distance it really should break that 120 meters so we're counting down three two one and now the quick shot is going to execute. We're flying upwards, as you can see, gaining altitude as we are flying backwards, keeping the subject in the shot. And as we are going to start approaching at 120 meters, you can see exactly 
as I expected. There we go. We've got the message that we have reached our maximum altitude and the quick shot has actually stopped itself. So that's absolutely nailed on, guaranteed, no more questions to be asked. Basically, the drone will stop at the maximum height, even if you select a quick shot, which should effectively take you over. So there we go, that answers that finally. Of course, many of you out there will have known the result to that video, but of course, there are many, many beginners out there picking up these drones for their first drone that potentially might not have known this. And it has to be said that despite this drone being out uh, for many years now, um, it's still always nice to see this old friend, the DJI Mini 2. And of course, please do let me know if you are watching this video, what drone you own and what you're flying in the comment section below so guys that wraps up this video thank you very much for watching please do hit that thumbs up if you found it useful subscribe for more drone related content if you're awesome and until next time see you again soon